Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, nested exponential equation. As you can see over here, x power x power x equal to 0 0.5 power square root of 2. And such kind of uh, equation is also called the power tower. And now we are going to solve this equation for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on the right hand side uh, of this uh, equation and we are going to manipulate this side. And now let's focus on this uh, 0 0.5. This could be written as 1 divided by 2. So therefore the right hand side could be written as 1 divided by 2 and then whole power square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, exponent uh, square root of 2. And here I have copied it down. And now I am going to manipulate this thing by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root of 2. It doesn't make any difference uh, whatsoever. And now we can see on the top square root of 2 times square root of 2 is simply 2. So therefore this whole thing uh, is going to become 2 divided by square root of 2. So therefore I am going to replace this square root of 2 by this uh, 2 divided by square root of 2. So therefore our right hand side is going to become 1 divided by 2 and then whole power 2 divided by square root of 2. And now let's recall the power rule. If we have x power m and then power n the nested exponent. So this could be written as x power m times n. And we are going to apply this rule on the right hand side. So therefore right hand side could be written as 1 divided by 2 and then whole power 2 and then whole power 1 divided by square root of 2. And now we can see 1 divided by 2 whole power 2 is same as 1 divided by 4. So therefore this right hand side is going to become 1 divided by 4 and then whole power 1 divided by square root of 2. And in this next step let's focus on this exponent 1 divided by square root of 2. And here I have copied it down 1 divided by square root of 2. And now let's focus on this uh, denominator square root of 2 could be written as 2 power 1 divided by 2. So therefore I can write 1 divided by 2 power 1 divided by 2. And now this fraction uh, exponent 1 divided by 2 is same as uh, 2 divided by 4. So therefore I can write uh, 1 power 2 power 2 divided by 4. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now let's recall the power rule once again. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, denominator. So therefore the denominator could be written as 1 divided by 2 power 2 and then whole power 1 divided by 4. And now we can see 2 power 2 is same as 4. So therefore we can write 1 divided by 4 power 1 divided by 4. And now let's tweak the numerator 1. 1 could be written as 1 power 1 divided by 4. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So therefore the numerator part is 1 power 1 divided by 4 divided by 4 power 1 divided by 4. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. If we have a, a power x uh, divided by b power x, then this could be written as uh, a divided by b whole power x. And we are going to apply this rule on this part. So therefore, uh, this uh, whole uh, thing uh, could be written as uh, 1 divided by 4 whole power 1 divided by 4. So therefore we can see that 1 divided by square root of 2 has become 1 power 4 whole power 1 divided by 4. 
So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this exponent 1 divided by square root of 2 by this uh, 1 divided by 4 whole power 1 divided by 4. So therefore, this whole thing uh, could be written as 1 divided by 4 and then whole power 1 divided by 4 and then power 1 divided by 4 once again. And now we can see 1 divided by 4 is same as 0 0.25. Likewise, 1 divided by 4 is same as 0 0.25. And finally, 1 divided by 4 is same as 0 0.25 as well. So therefore, we can write this one as 0 0.25 and then whole power 0 0.25. 5 and then finally power 0 0.25 and on the left hand side we have x power x power x and now let's make an observation we can see x power x power x equal to 0 0.25 power 0 0.25 power 0 0.25 so therefore we conclude that our x value is going to be simply 0 0.25. So thus our x value turns out to be 0 0.25. And that's our solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.